going on? So today I started moving the transmission. I, I'm recording with my cell phone currently because I forgot my camera. But I removed all the bell housing bolts. I removed the e-brake cable. I removed the shifter linkage. And I have disconnected the torque converter from the flywheel. You can see that. I uh, didn't manage to record any of that because it's really a struggle to uh, get everything undone itself. And there wasn't really much of uh, an angle that I could get with a. Uh, with my cell phone, so I'm just recording afterwards. But I was able to pry away the transmission from the end block. Now, I just have to remove that brace there on the floor jack, piece of wood, and then, oh, and that mess underneath the cardboard over there is actually from the dipstick tube, because I took it out. Um, when I unbolted it from the bell housing, thinking that, oh, nothing will come out from that hole down there. Let's see, right there, that black tube, that's the dipstick tube. Didn't think anything would come out of there. Well, turns out freaking like almost two liters came out of there onto the floor. So that was great. So I just put some cardboard down over it. But, uh, just wanted to give you an update video on that and then um, for the engine I'll probably be able to set up my camera so I'll be able to get that on video so this is kind of just like a little update clip uh, I might just add this clip onto the engine removal video but yeah that's where I'm at so far but I'll be posting the uh, engine removal video probably in next week sometime because I have to rent the uh, engine post. But uh, we're moving along here, which is pretty good. I'm going to send the engine out to the machine shop once I get it out to uh, Carquest. I'll uh, machine it all up for me. And then uh, I'll. Uh, be sending them the parts to be put in because if anything fails that they put in or parts that they put in um, it's all under warranty if anything fails so that's their guarantee so I'm gonna get this transmission out with um, the floor jack here I'm gonna remove that transmission mount uh, drop the transmission uh, probably just leave it underneath the car there's just not really any space to put it in now. And then uh, after I get it onto the ground, I'll support the uh, engine with the floor jack because it'll only be on there with the front mounts there. And that'll put a lot of strain on the front mounts with this big of a motor. So I'll put the floor jack with a piece of wood underneath the oil pan to support it. Yeah, that's everything for today. And uh, I'll get that engine video up as soon as possible. And I hope you enjoy. Transmission is out. On to the engine next. Hey everyone. As you all notice, there is engine out of the car. Nothing left in the engine bay. And I showed you last video, or last part, that the uh, transmission was removed. Um, I didn't film uh, the process of actually taking out the engine because it was uh, pretty tricky in itself just to coordinate everything and to make sure it was all set up properly. But uh, the way I hooked up the hoist was I hooked it in through one of the water pump bolts and one of the bell housing holes. I put a bolt in there, hooked it up like that and crossed it across the engine. I was going to use this plate, but the, um, the place that I rented it from, they actually welded the hook shut so you can't change out the chain, which is kind of shitty. But um, 
I was able to lift it high enough to get it out over uh, the rad support here. All I had to do, all I had left to do was um, take uh, each motor mount bolt out, which was uh, a nut and a bolt through the mount. And then on the passenger side, I had to remove the um, fuel pump right here because the clearance between the bolt here and the fuel pump it was too close to get a wrench in there so I had to remove the fuel pump and then uh, remove the bolt so now it's now that it's out I'm going to be uh, taking the transmission sliding it over to the side putting the car back down on the ground on the wheels so I can at least uh, roll it out of the garage into the uh, space there in the driveway and then after I do that I will be able to um, put the engine on my stand over there on my stand over there because it's just too tight of quarters to do it in the garage with the car and then uh, once I get it onto the stand I will be um, doing a time lapse video of the tear down of the engine because I will be tearing it down to the bare block. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'll be sending it to the machine shop and they'll be um, boring it out 30 over so it turns it into a 406. Um, then they'll be honing the crank bearings so they're all lined up and also they'll be decking it. And then for the transmission I'll probably just uh, put that over to the side for now because I don't really have uh, anything to put it on. But I will be replacing the torque converter there. I'll be putting in a 2800 stall for my buddy. Uh, he's giving that to me for like 100 bucks. So that'll boost up the horsepower a little bit. And then I'll be replacing all the seals on the transmission. I'm going to be cleaning out the engine bay, all this gunk and grime on everything. Just everything's just caked in oil and dirt and whatnot. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be removing uh, the master cylinder, replacing it with a Willwood one, placing the heater box over there, doing a delete on that. Um, I'm going to replace a wiring harness with an OEM one. I got aftermarket OEM matched one because the wiring harness is just so chewed up and like so many people have been in this car fucking splicing shit and whatnot doing their own thing but uh, I'm glad that I got this out today but uh, yeah so good progress so far and the next video will be me doing a teardown on the motor. And that will be probably be done uh, probably sometime this week. And I'll post it next week. So I'll be posting this video this week. Just uh, nothing too long. Just a update on how the car is going. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks.